Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. In here we're going to be looking at improper rotation or some people might call it rotation reflection operation. Take note, when I use those two words, it means that in this case, first, I have to perform a rotation on a primary axis on that particular molecule and then I perform a reflection which is putting a mirror through the plane that is perpendicular to the axis of rotation which is this particular axis in here as a result of that I will go back or I can get back to my original position of atoms relative to what I got at the end so in here we're going to be looking at some interesting rotation angles and we'll see how they actually relate with respect to each other in a particular molecule and also looking at the symmetry operation that is relative to the rotational angles now first we're going to look at what we know as 90 degree rotation usually a rotation angle that is 90 degrees will give us a C4 and then if you perform a reflection then what we have is the addition of two operations which results in the symbol S then 4 going from C4 to S4 S4 meaning that I perform a C4 rotation and then I apply a mirror plane that is perpendicular to that particular rotation so improper rotation has a symbol which is SN where N is the rotational number that is applied to that particular molecule now next one here is 180 degree rotational angle and what I get after I perform this is S42 or this can be equal to C2 now this two here we're going to look at them specifically in this particular example in here now this example shows us that oh first of all look at these molecules here that are tagged here I have the hydrogen atom tagged there as one two three four in this particular box and they are all at the edges of this cube and then take note that this molecule is tetrahedral so if I perform an operation what I get is my two moving 90 degrees from where it was so all my atoms that are actually terminal or that are at the edges we are actually moving 90 degrees from each other therefore what I'm applying is a C4 rotation on this particular region in here to get to that over here now one interesting thing happens in here what is happening in this particular case is that my hydrogen here at the bottom are actually noticed at the top here and while my hydrogens at the top here are now at the bottom what do you notice? what I notice is that if I apply an operation which is a mirror plane if I apply the mirror plane in this particular position here I get to this particular stage so this mirror plane as you notice is actually perpendicular to that rotational axis that was actually applied in here which is the C4 so a C4 plus a plane gives me this which is in this case a S4 which is a representation of the combination of the C4 rotation and a mirror plane that is perpendicular to this now this didn't end at all because in this particular case now I'm actually bringing this back over here and then I apply 90 degrees rotation as well so what is happening now is that a C4 rotation applied in here gives me this and then a mirror plane is applied in here and I get this over there so what do I see in this particular case this is actually done two times in order for me to get to the original positioning of my atoms in here where the initial one is the same as the final one in terms of the appearance of my atoms on their respective edges in there so as a result of that what I can say is that to get to to get from here to here I'm actually a C, applying a C2 rotation 
where if I perform 180 degree rotation on this particular cube, that is the molecule in this particular cube, I get to the same original positioning of my atoms as the result over there. So, in conclusion, what do I see in here? I see that if I apply a S4 squared, which is what we did here, 1 and 2, I actually get the same thing as performing a C2 rotation on this that gives me that in methane. So that's about it for this particular concept in here and there are some other interesting examples like an ethane over here we're looking at the staggered form if I look at the staggered the angle between this particular hydrogen bonded with the carbon and this hydrogen at the end here bonded with this carbon is actually 60 degrees apart and then if I perform a rotation which is a C6 rotation and then I do a mirror apply a mirror plane what I realize is that this actually comes up and this two here actually comes down so or you can look at it this way all three here down all four here up in here as a result of that I get to my original positioning which is this over there so from going from here to here means that oh first of all I'm applying S or C6 and then I apply a mirror plane to get to this original positioning in there. So that's about it for this particular subject. I hope you're able to understand improper rotation and how it's applicable to various compounds and all the same. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for the support. You can also support me on Patreon. Truly appreciate it. And be smart.